WWE wrestlers who saved their opponent from injury at WrestleMania. Kurt Angle takes control of a difficult situation. At WrestleMania 19 saw one of the most infamous botches of all time take place. Brock Lesnar during his main event collision with Kurt Angle landed on his head following a shooting star press attempt. Lesnar was completely out of it and Angle was forced to take control of the situation and talk Lesnar through the next steps in the match. It was vital that Angle did this in order to keep Lesnar safe and to ensure that Lesnar didn't do anything reckless. The crazy thing about the whole situation was that Angle was wrestling with a broken freaking neck and it was probably in both Angle and Lesnar's best interest that the match should have come to an immediate end. Angle offered some great insight into his role in keeping Lesnar safe during an episode of The Kurt Angle Show. The whole reason why I helped Brock up and tried to assist him to win the match is that my neck was broken and I couldn't carry the title any longer. I was going to have surgery the next day so I was in a position where Brock might have broken his neck. He got knocked out. I didn't know what to do because I couldn't hold the title another night. I had to basically wake him up and get him moving and see if he was okay and make sure that he could complete the move. It was very stressful. Those 15 seconds were one of the most stressful situations that I've ever been in, but Brock being the beast that he is followed through, hit the F5 and he won the World Championship. The Usos Smooth Exit Night 1 of WrestleMania 38 kicked off with the Usos vs Rick Boogs and Shinsuke Nakamura. Unfortunately, the match fell apart when Boogs legitimately tore his quad when lifting both Jay and Jimmy. Boogs needed to get out of action as soon as possible, and if Boogs had taken any more moves in the match, he could have risked further injury. When the injury first went down, Jay and Jimmy were incredibly quick to act. While staying in character, both members of the Uso simply rolled out of the ring. This allowed the referee time to communicate with Boogs as well as his partner Nakamura and collectively a new impromptu finish was pieced together that wouldn't include the injured Boogs. Rhino's Slight Adjustment A TLC2 somehow managed to exceed the first ever TLC a few months prior. For TLC2, the three teams involved ramped up the risks and some of the spots in the match were like nothing ever seen before. The match also included numerous side characters such as Lita, Spike Dudley and Rhino and this style of booking could have been chaotic and nonsensical, yet WWE made it work. Spike Dudley and Rhino were involved in a huge spot towards the end of the match and it saw both of them get put through a table by Jeff Hardy. Hardy would perform a swanton bomb from the top of the 20 foot ladder and this spot received one of the biggest reactions on the pay per view. Now it goes without saying that spots of this nature are extremely risky and one of the ways that injuries can be avoided is if wrestlers take the move lying next to each other so the impact is evenly distributed. Rhino realized before Hardy was about to land that he was a few inches away from Spike so Rhino discreetly shuffled along to make sure that he received his fair share of the high risk bump and in turn reduced the risk of Spike coming out with an injury. Triple H's quick thinking saves The Undertaker. It was a tradition during The Undertaker's WrestleMania matches that he would often perform a dive to the outside. When the dead man performed the move during the match with Triple H at WrestleMania 27, The Undertaker looked like he was about to land on his neck. It's hard to see clearly, yet it appears that as The Undertaker is about to land on his head, the game subtly rotates him in midair, so Undertaker basically takes most of the impact on his back and shoulders. Triple H clearly communicates with The Undertaker after landing to make sure he was okay and this was another great example of the cerebral assassin being a total pro in the ring. Roman Reigns abandons key spot WrestleMania 33 was initially designed to feature The Undertaker's final ever WWE match. The dead man was going to retire in the main event following his match with Roman Reigns, yet due to several reasons, mainly the quality of the match itself, the dead man ended up having numerous more matches in the company. The match itself wasn't at the level both men wanted and there was an endless number of spots in the match that were dangerously botched and could have led to substantial injuries occurring. One spot in the match was supposed to see Reigns pick the Undertaker up for his own version of the tombstone. Unfortunately, due to sheer exhaustion, the dead man was unable to flip his body over. Reigns tried several times to make the spot work but when he realized that if he proceeded, the Undertaker could potentially fall on his head, he made the call to abandon the spot. This was 100% the right move and it was fantastic to see Reigns take ownership of the spot and do everything in his power to keep the legend himself safe. Mr. Kennedy goes the extra mile One of the most thrilling spots during the Money in the Bank ladder match at WrestleMania 23 saw Mr. Kennedy deliver a Green Bay plunge on Hornswoggle from a ladder. The spot looked brutal and there was no way that the former Cruiserweight champion wasn't in total and utter agony. 
According to Hornswoggle during a shoot interview, Kennedy over-rotated on the move as much as possible, and this was actually done to protect him. Additionally, Hornswoggle noted that the bump itself was going to be on the hardest part of the ring, so Kennedy taking the majority of the impact was his way of keeping the risk of injury as low as possible. Becky Lynch helps out Ric Flair. WrestleMania 32 saw the women of WWE take center stage as Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks, and Becky Lynch competed in a WrestleMania classic. The match received universal love and praise, and there was a vocal portion of the fan base that believed that the match deserved to be in the main event position of the show. Charlotte's father, Ric Flair, was involved in the matchup, and Flair had an infamous spot which saw Becky Lynch dive over from the top rope. Flair had been retired for a number of years at this stage, so when Lynch performed a dangerous spot, she had every intention of preventing Flair from being injured. When Lynch hit this move, she basically rotated over Flair and pulled him down on top of her. This was the safest way to deliver the move, and Lynch deserves a ton of credit for putting herself in harm's way. Bret Hart saves Shawn Michaels from a rough landing. Bret Hart is considered one of the safest wrestlers in pro wrestling history, and there are countless examples of Hart putting himself in danger to protect his opponent. At WrestleMania 12, Hart faced Shawn Michaels in a celebrated Iron Man match for the WWE Championship. One spot in the match saw HBK jump from the top rope onto Hart onto the outside, and this was dangerous because HBK leaped so high and so far that it looked like he was going to land on the guardrail. Thankfully, Mr. WrestleMania was perfectly fine as the masterful Hart placed himself by the guardrail to safely bring HBK down to the ground with a safe landing. Stone Cold Steve Austin prevents Bret Hart from breaking his arm. A Stone Cold vs. Bret Hart's match at WrestleMania 13 is often cited as the introduction to the WWE Attitude Era, as the match saw Austin ascend to become the top babyface in the WWE. The match itself was outstanding, and the chemistry between Hart and Austin was on full display with every move. Although Hart was a veteran in the match itself, Austin showed the world why he was going to be the ring general for years to come. As Austin clotheslined Hart over the guardrail, Hart's arm got stuck, and to save Hart potentially breaking his arm, Austin simply went over the rail with Hart in order to free his arm. A Luke Harper saves the day. The annual Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal took place at WrestleMania 35, and if it wasn't for Luke Harper, former WWE star Mustafa Ali would have broken his neck. The incident in question began when the late great Harper would hoist Ali up for a suplex on the edge of the ring. The initial spot was supposed to involve Braun Strowman kicking Harper off the ring apron, and Harper and Ali simply falling to the ground. However, Strowman missed his cue, and this is when Harper shouted across to Strowman to remind him of his spot. Strowman then performed the planned spot, and as Harper and Ali were coming crashing down on the outside, Harper had rotated Ali in midair as Ali was going to land right on his neck. Even though Harper saved Ali from what Ali claimed would have been a broken neck, Ali's eye still hit the corner of the announce table in one of the most gruesome injuries to ever take place at WrestleMania. But there you have it folks, WWE wrestlers who saved their opponent from injury at WrestleMania. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.